So here now I would like to share with you the fundamentals techniques in architectural composition and everything starts with a simple box which will be uh, the first preview, the first technique I would like to show you now and as you see you can um, adjust the size, length, the height of the boxes um, and further you can uh, apply the modificators and start working with the box uh, converting in a wall and as you see in the preview uh, you can uh, select the edges by copying two boxes uh, and by using connect as you see you can divide those splines in two parts the same you can do with another one and the reason why I'm showing you this is the basic what I would like to share of modeling walls I mean just by using these techniques I'll show you in this video you can uh, build pretty quick and objects in your architectural uh, projects uh, let's say a house or a whole building and you should see now we have our wall already done so what are the options you can uh, work with uh, further with the wall you can delete the splines and uh, use uh, the borders edges and also you can close it also can you can connect the vertexes or delete them to have nice clean geometry uh, by selecting the splines also you can uh, slice them and uh, to have automatically uh, nice new splines and meshes that will be our uh, second technique of uh, modeling from boxes and whole geometries by slicing meshes how I'm showing you of course this is just a roughly image of what we can do delete the meshes select the edges and bridge the gap and that is the second technique in the way of getting fast result in architecture modeling and uh, basically if you are getting to advance in architecture modeling you will see the techniques I'm showing you here and right now are always repeating in different ways the third way of getting geometry of modeling uh, architectural uh, buildings is by using splines. Imagine if you have attached your plan of your house and you just need to repeat by using splines over it and I'm doing this randomly just for a quick preview and remember you need always to have vertexes close because after you were in converting in, into a spline in, in especially in, uh, when you have poly you need to have vertexes um, close to each other because from it you can convert nice clean uh, meshes so let's use a shell modificator and as you see we have our plan our uh, floor slab closed and you can change the thickness of it and from it you can extrude the walls our third techniques from my preview is actually the more uh, the most flexible and uh, quick for getting result in your 3d object using a couple of modificators stretch it a bit and that's it you see now we have all in one walls already done 
and from it you can use and combine all the modificators what we shown you previously by slicing some meshes uh, by closing the gaps or bridging the edges also and again and that's the four technique I would like to show you by uh, just playing with the adjustments of the spline enable in render uh, preview and viewport choose the rectangle profile and adjust the length and thickness that's maybe the the quickest of all four techniques which I am giving you right now after you can convert to poly and to have the windows from it by using the quick slice option as you see but remember when you have selected one mesh what I have now you are cutting through all the selected in your object so be careful pay attention what exactly you're doing and all the meshes and edges you have in your objects to have corresponding to each other and to be closed and clean all the time